disclaimer, I am improvising how to say this like every other DIY, so everything might sound really weird and doesn't make sense and probably don't even know how to explain it. So the best way to learn how to make this is to watch this video. So yeah, continue on. Hey guys, it's Jay one back to the channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make these charms bracelets that Adrian and Marinette made for each other. They are actually good luck charms for them. So I, I, I honestly don't really know what it is actually called, but like I'm just going to call it charm bracelets because why not? Anyway, let's get on with the video. The most important thing about a present, Tiki, is the person who's giving it. Here are the things you need. If you don't have any beads, get some clay. You need some rope or strings. Paint, a stick, skizors, and you might also need tape and paint brushes. Now let's get started. So first get your clay, and disclaimer, I am improvising how to say this like every other DIY, so everything might sound really weird and doesn't make sense and probably don't even know how to explain it, so the best way to learn how to make this is to watch this video. So yeah, continue on. So first, take the green clay, mold it into a cube, flatten a little bit, not all the way, not like a pizza, <laughs> and then draw flowers with white dots on top of one side of the bead. Make sure to make a hole so the string could go through later. After it's done and while it's drying, make the other beads. Here is a photo reference of what color beads you have to make and what shape does it have to be. After we're done with the marinette one, we're going to leave it to dry and then we're going to start making the one Adrian made for marinette. So here is a photo reference of the beads. And for the bird bell and the circle thingy, whatever that flattened thing called, um, you're just going to make it with a random clay. Make sure it's like light colored. And then let it dry, then paint it with gold or spray paint it with gold. I would also suggest to put like a keychain ring on top of the bell or make like a little circle on it so it will hang better when it's dried. After it's dry, get your red string, cut two short pieces of string that are able to wrap around your wrist so you can actually wear it. It doesn't really matter, My I didn't do that and now my marinette's one won't wrap it around so yeah. <laughs> anyway, just cut like two strings that are the same size. And put your beads through the string according to the pattern in the photo. If you're having trouble to put your string through, I suggest you to like wrap tape around the string at the bottom of like the string so you can put the beads through very easily and remember to tie a loop on the top of the string before you put the beads through the string then cut any excess of the string off if you have any since the one Adrian made is kind of complicated and has like a bell that it ha was hanging off from we, I will first do like a little loop from of the bell and then I put the pattern from the bottom to the top. And again, cut it off if you have any excess string. And if you did wrap a tape around the bottom of your rope or your string, make sure you cut it off or like unwrap the string before you tie them. And this is how you make the DIY charm bracelets. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more of these videos, please make sure to give a like and subscribe. And the shout out goes to Cutie Corn House. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Peace out.